ஐ ஆம் ஞானவேல் ஐ ஆம் ஏ பயாலஜி டீச்சர் ஒர்க்கிங் ஹையர் இன் அவர் ரெப்யூட்டட் பாரதாஸ்னார் மெட்ரிகுலேஷன் ஹையர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல்ஸ் ஹாய் சில்ட்ரன் ஹவர் யூ ஐ ஆம் ஃபைன் வாட் அபவுட் யூ ஐ ஆம் ஆல்சோ வெரி ஃபைன் வெரி குட் லாஸ்ட் செஷன் வி லேர்ன்ட் வாட் வாட் டாபிக் எனி படி நோ சார் செல் வெரி குட் நவ் த சக்சீடிங் பார்ட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு த வாட் மீஸ் இஸ் ஏ நெக்ஸ்ட் பார்ட் இஸ் கால்ட் ஏ வாட் ஆர் த ஆர்கன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த பிளான்ட் டூ யூ நோ எஸ் யூ டெல் சம்திங் ரைட் த லீவ் ஃப்ரூட் பிரான்ச் ஃப்ரூட் ஸ்டெம் லைக் தீஸ் வெரி குட் லெட் எஸ் நவ் வி ஹாவ் டு சி த வாட் மீஸ் ஏ வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் டாபிக் வி கோ ஃபார் த வாட் மீஸ் ஏ வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் இன் அவர் ஹோம் வேர் த ஃபுட் இஸ் ஏ ப்ரிப்பேர்ட் சார் கிச்சன் வெரி குட் மீன் வாயில் in your plants where the food is manufactured do you know right is a leaf let us now we have to see the what means a very important topic is the leaf the leaf is a what structure a flat a green structure this is a mainly to attach it on the what means a stem this is attached on the what means a stem or it's a branch this is a leaf the leaf is a what color we know that that is is called what color green color anybody know the what means the reasons for the what means a green color so sir presence of one important pigment very good well done what is the important pigment name chlorophyll pigment very good the chlorophyll pigment are impact the what means a green color to the what means a plants very good that's why the plant is most of the uh, plants the leaves are what color means is a green in color because of the presence of chlorophyll pigment okay now apart from this some of the plant are a non green in color some may be say yellow in color red color or some other color such patches will be there such leaf or call the word is variegated leaf variegated leaf that is a best example is a money plant money plant let us now we have to go for the what mean we learn the structure of the leaf the leaf is a to do the what means a very very a important thing that is is a main thing is called the what means a structure before going to the function we want to learn the what means a structure of the leaf now that is a leaf is a this is a leaf now that is is a this structure this is a leaf the leaf is a the portion which are attached on the what means a stem or a branch that basal part is called the what is leaf base now that is every leaf it bears the what means a very small a stalk this is a stalk of the leaf this is we call the what is petiole now this is a a flattened portion from this part to up to what means a tip of the leaf this is a tip of the leaf this entire portion we call the word is lamina or otherwise we call the word is leaf blade otherwise we call the word is leaf blade now that is a leaves are a very 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 important so what are the functions of the leaf the main thing basically all the student are knowing about that is is a photosynthesis the plants are manufacture the what means a food material by the process of what mean photosynthesis we learn in lower classes or small classes what are the raw material for photosynthesis mean carbon dioxide obtained from the hair water obtained from the uh, soil in the presence of what means a yeah, sunlight and the chlorophyll pigment they prepare the what means a starch material during photosynthesis oxygen gas is released this process is known as photosynthesis right now that is a ventral portion of the leaf which bear very minute invisible yeah minute pores is there that pores is called the word is stomata through this stomata the exchange of the gases are takes place now that is is a during the day time a uh, photosynthesis that is a during the photosynthesis time take the carbon dioxide and release the oxygen that is a opposite in a night time that is a plants are respire during the respiration time they take the oxygen and release the carbon dioxide through the uh, stomata that is a gaseous exchange second thing third one is a yeah, if the plant are observe the what means much amount of the water all the water is not utilized by the plant such a yeah, most of the waters are after the utilization a yeah, remnant water excess of water that that waters are yeah, evaporated and send out that is a give out the what means outside of the plant body that process is known as transpiration while yeah, some of the plants we have to see the what means yeah, that structures leaf is modified to show the what means a yeah, different uh, things that is is a spine like 
the tendril and then is a what means a insect eating that is, is a shows the what means a picture plant that is a other modifications that we have to study in later on now types of the leaf there are a two types of the leaf are seen if we have to observe the different types of leaves we have to observe now that is is called a this is a simple leaf simple leaf mean that is a, a single lamina is present single lamina it has a what means axillary bud example mango castor cotton etc simple this is is called a simple leaf now that is is a compound leaf it compound leaf means that the leaf is, the leaf is a in turn is a divides into a many branches much a lamina many uh, lamina this is arranged on the what means a one common yeah, that is a structure that is is called the word is a stalk of the leaf now this is a this type of the leaf is known as compound leaf example tamarind leaf and neem leaves and uh, drumstick leaves these are called compound uh, uh, leaves compound leaf next we go for the what means while if you have to take the leaf that is a ventral side it shows the what means is a what are the part in middle it go for the what means one of the thing important thing is called a midrib from the midrib this is is called midrib from the midrib many veins and veinlets are a branching they are going this structure are called the what is arrangement of the veins arrangement of the veins on the midrib this is known as venation the venations are two types of the venation if the venations are a much branched they are complicated this structure is called the what is reticulate venation while we have to seen in mango people uh, ibiscus leaf etc parallel venation what is mean by parallel venation mean if you have to uh, everybody we have to during the uh, dinner time we are using the banana leaf the banana leaf is shows the what means uh, all the veins are run parallel to each other if it is a uh, tear the what means a uh, leaf that is is easily to tearing because of the what means veins are parallel to each other this is a parallel venation parallel venation next we go for the what means is a uh, next uh, that is is a very important thing philotaxy what is mean by philotaxy that is a word very important word philotaxy the philotax philo means is a leaf arrangement of the leaves on the stem arrangement of the leaves on the stem or called the word is philotaxy this arrangement of the leaves are a generally to arranged to maximum exposure to the what means sunlight to absorb the what means a light to carry out the what means photosynthesis now the mostly basically the three types of the arrangement of the leaves are seen in the plants first one is called the what is alternate what is mean by alternate this alternate mean the leaves are arranged on the sides that is a two leaves are arranged on the sides of the what means stem opposite to the what means a yeah, opposite this is is a called the word is opposite to opposite to the what means a yeah, older leaves this leaves opposite is older between the two thing it it will be is a yeah, arising this is called the word is alternate and opposite what is mean by opposite mean that is a yeah, two the leaves are arranged yeah, or opens the leaves are a yeah, mostly they are yeah, mostly into the what means yeah, two things that is is called opposite to each other what is mean by opposite to each other for example this is this side is a one leaf is there other side is the another leaf this is opposite to the what means here yeah, this opposite to what this this is called the word is opposite to each other opposite to each other this we call the word is calotropis eruk and gwa the next is world world is nothing but yeah, that is is a this structure a stem more than two leaves this is a one leaf that is is a more than two leaves which are arranged in a circle or a whorl circle or whorl or a layer this structure are called the word is whorl oleander uh, oleander that is is a example the next is leaf modification what is mean by leaf modification the leaf not only to do the what means a photosynthesis apart from this yes several functions are carry out now one is go, go for the what means that is is a in case of the uh, desert plant cactus opuntia 
cacti, opensia, the prickly pear, such plants, the leaf is modified into, this is the leaf, that is a stem region. In case of the what means a prickly pear, this is a stem region, the leaves are a changes into very minute a spine, very minute spines for to avoid the what means is a transpiration, to avoid the transpiration. In case of the what means a sweet pea and garden pea, some plants that is, is just that leaf is changes, changes into very minute, a coiled, a spring like structure. This is, is called the word is in tendril, we have to call the word is tendril. This is helps to climb the what means a plant, climb the plant. The next is fleshy leaves. We are eating the what? That is, is called onion. That is a onions are stored the what means a food in the leaves part. That for leaves are called the word is fleshy leaves, fleshy leaves. The next is, in some cases of the plant which are live in, that is, is called nitrogen deficient soil, such a uh, plants are called the word is insectivorous plant. What is meaning of the insectivorous? Insect means insect, orus means to heat. A yeah, plant to heat the what means insect are known as insectivorous plant. This is we call the word is, that is a several insectivorous plants are there. What are the insectivorous plants? We learned that this is called insectivorous plant. The, namely, the leaves are changes into pitcher plant, that is, is called a pitcher plant. That is a docera, is another plant. Venus fly trap, bladder wart, that is a several insectivorous plants are there. This is a pitcher. In this plant, the leaf is a laminous, changes into leaf, laminous changes into pitcher. Laminous changes into pitcher, that is upper part. Leaf tip is a changes into lid, lid means to cover. When the any insect are fell down into the what means a, a, that is, is called plast, immediately is closed and digest and to eat the what means a insect. Such plant are known as insectivorous plant, insectivorous plant. This plant is a to compensate the what means a nitrogen, to compensate the nitrogen deficient, that is why the plant are heating the what means a, a nitrogen, okay. Right, next we go for the what means another thing we call the word is, that is, is called a vegetative propagation. What is mean by vegetative? Vegetative. In case of the what means one of the plant that is, is called a bryophyllum. Bryophyllum begonia. The intact leaf that is, is called a small bud, that is, is a intact small outgrowth of the bud is a developed. This is a we call the word is a bud. This bud is a develop into new plant, develop into new plant. A vegetative propagation means the body parts like stem, root and leaf, any structure which gives rise to what means a new plant not involved in the what means a reproductive part. Such a reproductions are called the word is vegetative propagation, which is a commonly seen in the one of the important plant, Cutipodal, Cutipodum, Bryophyllum. This is a one of the plant that is a leaf margin which bear the very minute open, minute bud like structure. These buds are a gives rise to form the new plantlet. Afterwards, these plantlet are a after develop, they are a cut down from the parental thing and then is a go for the word means lead for independently. This type is known as vegetative propagation. So, this is a method is very very advantageous one. Nowadays, the seedless plants are produced and easier method, rapid method, less expensive method of the what means a vegetative propagation is very, a very less expensive method and this is a all the copies are very similar that is is called identical to the what means a, a parental copies parental copies so some of the plant they are have very weak stem now that such a plant for example that is a jasmine and then is a various plants that is a sweet potato these are mostly to propagate with the help of what method mean a vegetative propagation method so, let us now we have to go for the what means sum up, that is, is a review part. So, today now we have to learn the what are the part mean, that is a structure of the leaf. What is mean by petiole? Petiole is the stalk of the leaf is called petiole, very good, sit down. Uh, what is the functions of the leaf? Photosynthesis, gases exchange, 
transpiration and the modification to modify the spines and tendrils good very good sit down the next part what are the two types of the leaf simple leaf and a compound leaf good then what are the two types of the venation one is called the reticulate venation and one is a parallel venation the next part how many types of arrangement three types alternate opposite whirled that is a leaf modification what are the modified the leaf that is a spine in case of the cacti that is a sweet pea but tendril that is a tendril the next is a onion fleshy leaves and a pitcher plant is a insectivorous plant let us we have to learn the word means all the thing very elaborately we have to learn children next class we will be say do the word means some little homework to you what is the little homework you have to practice the diagram vegetative propagation by bryophyllum leaf diagram the next is a pitcher diagram pitcher plant diagram and uh, fantastic we have to draw the what means here uh, and label it that is is a structure of the leaf structure of the leaf thank you children we meet tomorrow